What's up, YouTube? It's Ali Beans from I Freaking Love This, and today we're going to talk about choppy audio in OBS. Now, a lot of the times when you get choppy audio in OBS, and I'll be giving an example of what this issue sounds like in the moment, but a lot of times you get this issue if you're using something like voice meter or something else to split up the different audio sources on your computer into more inputs and outputs into OBS to have more control. And that's usually where this problem arises. I'm going to have a couple of solutions for you. And I'm also going to show examples of some popular solutions that really don't work well. And then, of course, the right ones are the ones that I recommend you to do. As usual, I'll have time scamps. Yes, time scamps. Time stamps in the description below for you, as well as the automated one by YouTube on the progress bar. So let's get right into it. All right. So what we're looking at here is a downloaded version of one of my streams that I did on March 18th. Now, this stream was actually even focused on me announcing and helping getting names for some of my original metal and hardcore music that I put out as royalty free. And if you want to check that out, you can just go to ollybeans.com slash music. Sorry for the shameless plug there. But so this was pretty embarrassing for me. Let me hit play here and you'll hear exactly what the choppy or stuttering audio in OBS issue sounds like. That sounds awful. Look at me panicking. Oh. All right. So that sounds pretty bad. And to give you some reference, this is what that song's supposed to sound like. So if your audio was ever supposed to sound like that, but it ended up sounding like this, these fixes should work for you. All right. So the first fix I'm going to show you is one of the more popular fixes out there. But for me, it doesn't solve the issue. Well, at least not permanently. And so what this fix does is first you'd go down to your sound settings here open up sounds, right? And they recommend to go to your voice meter, if voice meter is the issue, and go to prop, right click, go to properties, go to levels, and turn this down from 100, right? So let me just put this at an arbitrary number. Not sure why I have to do 80 for an arbitrary number. And then this will fix the issue. And granted, it did fix the issue for me by setting all my voice meter inputs and outputs to less than 100. It did temporarily fix the issue. But look what happens when you restart the voice meter audio engine. It goes back up to 100. And your voice meter audio engine essentially restarts every time your computer does. And restarting voice meter is a common fix to other voice meter issues. And to go through... And do that for all the various voice meter inputs and outputs just didn't fe feel like a, a feasible solution for me, at least not one that's sustainable. So here we are in OBS. And sorry for the infinity view, but you know there's no way around it. And so one of the first fixes that has long-term success, but as I recommended before, it's best to do all these fixes, is the sample rate. Now, your sample rate is how often your music is sampled by its output or input. And so you want to make sure that your computer sample rate, OBS's sample rate, and then whatever third-party tool you may be using to do more inputs and outputs, for this example, it's going to be voice meter, all are using the same sample rate. So let's first go to OBS. We're going to go to the top here, File, Settings, then click on Audio. And set your sample rate here. Now, I can't do it right now because I'm currently recording and you can't change your sample rate while you're recording. But you can either usually set this to 44.1 or 48 or higher. But you really don't need much higher, especially for streaming because a lot of times your bandwidth is limited. And so I set this to 48 kilohertz here. Hit OK. And then usually you'll have to restart OBS for that change to take place. Then you also want to do the same change in voice meter. You just want to go to menu, system settings and options, and just click on the sample right here, preferred main sample rate. And you want to set that to whatever you set in OBS. For this example, it's going to be 48. Then 
You also want to go to your sound here, and to bring this up, let me show you that actually. Right click on, you know, uh, the little speaker icon, click on sounds. Right? And then you want to go to all your voice meter and other inputs, right? Anything that you're using, right? Or outputs, your speakers, your microphone, your headphones, all your voice meters as well. Right click, go to properties, go to advanced, and make sure you set that to the same number. Again, 48,000 for this example. And hit OK. And you want to do that for all of them, including your microphones. And there, now you have every component that's involved in that chain to get the audio into OBS at the same sample rate. Let's move on to the last and final fix. Yes, I just said last and final. All right, here we are on OBS again, and you'll actually be able to see me in the little window. This is my in-game view, and the reason I'm using this view is because here's where I actually have voice meter set up through OBS in order to separate sig uh, audio, different signal sources, in order to have more control and set volumes independently. And that scenario is usually what causes this choppy audio issue. And so we can see here, I've got my music on one channel, music voice meter on the aux input from voice meter. And then I have my discord voice meter for aux three, which is called VAIO, but it just means the auxiliary three for voice meter. And then my desktop audio set to the default voice meter input. And what I noticed was when I don't have this muted, right? There would actually be, even when I had this muted, there would actually be a little bit of sound coming in here. Even though OBS's mute function just turns it down by so many decibels, it's not actually fully muting it. That signal is still affecting your OBS and still being processed by your OBS. And so what I actually have to do, and this is again by going to right click, open, nope, not wrong one. Right click sounds, right? And go back here to recording devices, and we have the CamLink 4K, which is what this CamLink is set up to. And this was enabled. What I did is right click here, and I clicked on disable. I'm not going to re-enable it for this, because I don't want to cause any issues of during this recording. Um, but that was the solution. I then went in and disabled anything else that I'm not currently using. Your monitors. Um, your um, microphones that you're not currently using to record, um, any other speaker systems that may have been installed before that you're currently not using, anything that has a chance of running through OBS, you want to disable here. And that fixed the solution permanently for me. I've been able to run streams with three different audio sources coming in, my main desktop, my music, and my communications without issue. That choppy audio issue was completely gone by fixing the sample rate and disabling unused audio sources. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. The solution to fixing choppy audio with OBS, especially if you're using something like voice media to separate your audio sources, is to one, make sure your sample rate is equal across the board. And that's going to mean your actual audio devices in your sound settings, your OBS and any third party tool such as voice media that you're using to separate the audio devices. And then two, make sure you're disabling anything that's not actually supposed to be pushing audio to OBS. OBS can get overwhelmed, uh, especially if you maybe have CPU limitations or something like that nature. And so you want to disable all the other sources. For me, it was disabling the audio on my camera. Now, if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a like, maybe even subscribe if you and hit that bell if you want to be notified when I put out new content. Yeah, I also stream on Twitch three nights a week under the name Ollie Beans. I'll throw that link in the description below for you. And uh, you can follow me there to be notified when I go live. You can ask me questions. Say these solutions don't work for you. I'll actually stop and help you troubleshoot them. Um, you can jump by my Discord at discord.ollybeans.com as well. And just ask comments below. If, if you're having trouble with anything, if you are having trouble finding the settings place to change the sample rate, or if these solutions don't work for you and you're having another issue, or say you want to have 
a real lot of audio inputs beyond, you know, the three or four I was using comfortably, I'll try to help you find a solution. I'm usually really good at commenting on my videos. I'm Ollie Beans from I Freaking Love This. I'll see you in the next video. Be good to each other.